To all the listeners and welcome to the radio lessons. My name is Sede and I teach in Georgina Primary School, which is in Thimpo. This program is to reach to all the children across the nation. Today's lesson is lesson number four from volume three of the self-instructional material. And it is an English lesson for class PP. And what are we going to learn today? We are going to be learning prepositions. Right? From the word prepositions, do you hear position? So we are going to learn words that tell us the position of things. So by the end of this lesson, you'll be able to say in, what is in, on, what is on, and under. What does under mean? Okay, by looking at the pictures. And also you'll be able to match the word that is in, on, under, those words, to their picture. So, are you ready for the lesson? So, in activity one, we are going to look at the picture and we're going to tell where the cat is. So, you don't need your pencils here. You're just going to look at the picture and we are going to say where this cat is. It seems this cat was not able to stay in one place. It has moved uh, to different places. So, we are going to say, where is the cat? All right, let's look at the first box. Where's the cat? This cat looks like a tiger, right? It's got stripes. It's got orange stripes. Where's the cat? <coughs> the cat is... Where is it? It's in the box. So this... Where's the cat? It's in the box. All right, so the word that is written in blue, that's the key word. That is a preposition. It's showing the position of the cat. Where is the cat? In the box, right? In. Let's look at the second picture. Where is the cat now? So it seems this cat doesn't like to stay in one place. In the first picture, the cat was in the box. Look at the second picture. Where is the cat? The cat is on the tree, right? Where is the cat? It is on the tree or on the branch of a tree, all right? So do you see the word in blue, on, right? So that word is on. It's showing the position of the cat now. Where is the cat? It is on the tree. Let's look at the third picture. We have another cat here, right? Is it the same cat as the first one? Or the second one? No, it's a slightly different colored cat, right? So where is the cat? Where is the cat this time? The cat is, is it on the chair? Can you say in the chair? You can't, right? So it's under the chair. Where is the cat? Under the chair. So look at that word in blue, under. All right, so where is the cat? It is under the chair. So you have just learned three words, three prepositions. The first one was in, right, in, in the box. The second one was on, on, on the tree. And the third one was under, under, under the chair, right? Okay, so we're going to use these three keywords for the next activity. Are you ready? Let's turn to the next page and look at activity two. Let's read the instructions. It says look, read and match. So we have to look at the picture, we have to read the word and then we have to match. 
So you know what matching is, right? Matching is finding two pictures that are the same and you join them with a line, right? A straight line. Okay, so let's look at the pictures on your left hand side in the first column, the left hand side, okay? So what do you see? There is a table and there is a book under the table, right? And what word is written below this picture? What word is it? It's under, right? Where is the book? The book is under the table. Let's look at the next picture, the picture below. We have another table and we have another book. Are the book colors same? No. The first one was red and this one is blue. So where is the blue book now? The blue book is on the table. It's no longer under the table. It's on the table, right? On. Okay, so the word that's written under this picture is on. What's the next picture at the end? What do you see? It's a bag. It's a yellow and green bag. And this bag has some books. Where are the books? The books are in the bag. So the word written under this picture is in. Where are the books? In the bag, right? In. So you will see these pictures on the other side, on your right hand side. But they are not in the same order. So what you're going to do is you are going to find the same picture, right? This picture that indicates or that shows under, the picture that shows on, and the picture that shows in. And then you're going to match by drawing a straight line. Can you do that? Yes, you can. I know you can. Okay, let's go to activity three on the next page. Let me read the instructions for you. Look at the picture. So we are going to look at the picture. How many pictures do you see? Count them. One, two, three. So there are three pictures. So we are going to look at the pictures. And then it says, write the correct preposition. The first one is done for you. So we have to look at the pictures and we have to write which preposition um, is the most accurate one or the most appropriate one for the picture. Now, you may not know the spelling of the words of the prepositions that we just learned. So therefore, the spellings are written for you in the box, in the green box at the top. Do you see that? There are three words, the three prepositions. What's the first one? In, right? What's the second one? On. And the third one is under. So we have in, on, and under. And do you see um, there's an arrow from that word on and it goes to one of the blanks and it's written on? Well, you are going to do something like that. So let's look at the first picture. What do you see? There's a birdhouse and then there's a bird. What color is the bird? It's blue, right? And it looks like the bird is singing a song, right? So where's the bird? The bird is on the birdhouse. On. So therefore, do you see that the word on has been picked from the box and put in the blank? So you are going to do the next two pictures. So let's look at the second picture. What do you see? There's a kennel, right? What's a kennel? It's the, it's the dog's house is called a kennel, right? And then what do you see in the kennel? There is a dog in the kennel. <coughs> so which word do you think fits this picture? Is it in or is it under? Which one? So whichever you think is the most correct, you pick that word and write in the blank. All right, and then in the last picture, who do you see? It's a bokto, right? It's a bokto. And where is a bokto? He is under the tree, right? Where is he? He is under the tree. So which word is the most correct? Is it in? Is it on? Or is it under? So you pick that word up and you write it in the blank. Once you have done this, 
If you want to see whether you got your answers correct or not, you can look at the next page and there you'll see the answers. All right. And that brings us to the end of the lesson. I hope you learned the three key prepositions. What are they? In, on, and under. So you can do that with your hands. So can you put your hand in your pocket? So in your pocket, in. Can you put, take it out? Can you put your hand on your head? On, right? And now can you put your hand under your bottom? So there, there you go. You have the three prepositions in, on, and under. Well done, children, for your wonderful effort. See you next time. Until then, be good and stay safe.